you know, many parents think like putting stuff in their mouth and making them swallow is more important, but that's absolutely wrong. And they try to explore the food and get a connection between their food and themselves. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about meal times and what you should be doing during the meal time and before the meal time and the general instructions that you always have to keep in your mind uh, when your baby is having their meal. I am Tina, I'm a health psychologist and a mother of a premature baby. So in this channel we'll be talking a lot about babies, their milestones, food, some recipes, about formula, milk and many other things. There are also some fun stuff that's going on in the shorts and also on my Instagram and Facebook and Patreon. So if you're on the same page, please consider subscribing to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So first thing before meals that we do is preparing. So how to prepare your food? You have to make sure that your food that you give to your baby is very smooth and soft. But remember that it also has to have texture because the babies love textures. Um, like they want to experiment with it. So make sure you have different kind of textures, but make sure it is soft and smooth. The second important thing that you need to remember during preparation is the bite size. It has to be finger long. That means around the size of this finger, long and thin. It shouldn't be too small or it shouldn't be too big. Always make sure that you cut them into finger sizes. The third most important thing that you need to remember is the food shouldn't be too sticky or too small or too hard. Now here comes our meal time. So what you should be doing during the meal time. The first thing that you always need to make sure is to make your baby sit up straight. They shouldn't be crawling, they shouldn't be walking or running around or playing. That is a dangerous thing to do because um, their physical body is not stabilized so they may choke. Always make sure you keep your baby stable and make them sit down. For that you can use a high chair or make them sit on a table or a chair or even on the floor wherever they feel comfortable. Connecting to our second point about keeping the place safe and steady, it connects to our third point about having no distractions. Absolutely no, no, no distractions. No TV, no music, no cell phone, no games, nothing. It's always better for you to sit down with your baby and make sure, uh, make sure your baby is sitting down and focusing completely on food because in that way they can understand actually what they're putting in the mouth, how it feels and they try to explore the food and get a connection between their food and themselves. If you love your child to just go around and play or cry or jump around, they are simply going to put stuff in their mouth but it's actually not going to help them in any way. Many of the parents these days prefer feeding their children using a cell phone, which is a disastrous practice. Please, if you're doing that, stop it immediately. That is not at all good. You know, many parents think like putting stuff in their mouth and making them swallow is more important, but that's absolutely wrong. Always understand that when your baby picks up the food by themselves and feels it and puts them in their mouth and chew and understand what they're eating, even if they eat very little food, that is going to help them in a larger way rather than you stuffing food in their mouth, which they have no connection with. Um, your thinking is not right. Please do your own research and try to find out that the baby has to eat by themselves and have a connection with food. The fourth tip is never force feed. This is a big no, no. Never force feed. Uh, as I said before, uh, stuffing food in their mouth and making them swallow is not our mission. Our mission is to feed them in a way that they understand food and they feel full. If you force feed, the baby will actually get out of connection. The connection will be cut between their signals to their brain and their stomach. So whenever they feel hungry, they have to get certain signals to their brain and they have to understand that they are hungry and search for food. 
right and when they eat food and after a certain time when their stomach is full they have to again have a signal to their brain understanding that the food is enough and they need to stop so their signals are present from the beginning till we spoil them so please stop force feeding them because these signals are going to get disconnected and that is going to land you and your baby into a lot of trouble leading to child obesity and eating disorders later when they grow up and you may have a doubt saying oh this can't be practical my baby always says no no to food it's okay everybody says no no to food uh, it's okay everybody says no no to food initially that's that's you know the way kids behave and it's completely normal however little they eat that is going to be sufficient because eventually they are going to feel hungry they are going to eat so you don't have to worry about it please practice healthy eating habits from childhood the final one is be ready yes you have to be ready in case of emergency such as choking always try to get some experience or some knowledge regarding choking you have tons of videos in youtube on how to help your baby when they choke you can also take some courses if you really need learn some first aid techniques like how to um, you know handle your baby when they choke uh, so there are some really good videos in youtube you can watch them and while doing this first aid technique always remember that you shouldn't put your finger in your baby's mouth if they choke because you're going to push it further down which we do not want if you open the mouth and see that there is something and you can visibly see that then you can try to pick that up slowly but if you just imaginarily put your fingers inside you're going to push it more further inside and that's not good so i hope you like this video and learned something good out of it if you do think so please do share it with other mamas please stick around as we have tons of videos coming up I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself and take care of your little ones. Bye-bye.